Hello everyone, it's Arali and welcome to the channel. So, as you can see by the title of this video, today I want to talk about NIOs. Uh, why do I want to talk about NIOs? Well, because I feel like not enough people have been talking about it. It is going to be the next map, as far as we know, and we know nothing about it, or next to nothing about it. And I kind of wanted to start a discussion and get everyone's opinion what you guys think we're going to see. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a theory that I have and start a little bit of discussion on some of this stuff. And I want to see what you guys think. So uh, first off, I want to say that I think we've seen a preview of Nios, and it's in the form of a concept art that's uh, very much right in our face, but we haven't no one has really talked about it too much. I've seen a Reddit thread about it with some theories, and it was interesting to read it, and not that I'd necessarily disagree. I think a concept art could be of anything, uh, but I had my own theory, and I kind of talked about it a little bit. Uh, I don't, you know, I don't know how serious people took this stuff, or, you know, how right I really am, but um, the concept art that I'm talking about, when you open up the Wizard's Vault, you can see a little concept art at the top, right? And I think what we're seeing here is Nios. Now, why do I think that? Well, people have been talking about this concept art, and they've been talking about what we're seeing. And some people were saying, oh, it's just Omnitas, or it's a place we've already been to, or whatever. But I kind of disagree with that. Because when you look at Omnitas, and when you look at the structures of the Astro Ward, you can see that they're a completely different architecture from what we're seeing in this concept art. Uh, you know, in the concept art, we can see a landscape with a big city in the back, and it has these dome-like structures with, like, a very big dome structure in the back. Uh, and I think that when you compare this to what we've seen so far, uh, you can see very much, like, a lot, like, contrast to a lot of what we see in Omnitas, and I think that's done on purpose. So, in Omnitas, when you look at the structures there, you can see a lot of them are these square rectangular very uh pointy you know the towers they come to a, a point right nothing is really dome like nothing is really like rounded so that's what we've been seeing so far of the structures of the astral ward and i really think that when we look at this concept art i don't think we're looking at anything that's omnitas or even astral ward and like i said i think that's done on purpose because we're looking at opposing forces we're looking at what the Astro Ward uses as their structures versus where we're going and what the Cryptus use for their structures, right? Uh, what's the other supporting evidence that I have of this being in Nios? Well, what is the one place that we have seen in Nios that we've actually been to? Well, that's the Temple of Febe. Now, when you look at the Temple of Febe, it's all very round, right? We see the uh, cathedral-like glass window uh we see the rounded arena where we fight saris like that's the one and only structure that we see in nios and we don't really know what the temple of febe how it looks on top we can't really see the ceiling when you look up in the strike mission and stuff you can't see what it looks like but it could be a dome like structure right which would fit right into what this concept art looks like when you look at this concept art it's very different to what we have seen it looks like this greenery it looks like this little forest in this on this green pasture like kind of thing perhaps um with the city in the back right it, it looks very much like how you would imagine ancient ancient greece to look like kind of thing but but what is interesting about that picture is the color palette it, it looks very magical and fantastical and very much different to what we've seen so far whenever we've seen forests and greenery and pastures and stuff like that you know like in crydog and darren fields maguma jungle brisbane wildlands it's always been depicted in the concept art as just you know the trees are green the grass is green uh, you know, the sky is blue or gray with some clouds, yada yada, right? You can look at those pictures and you can see those things. But this looks very different. The sky is a different color. It, you know, it's like a it's like a purple, blue, pinkish color. Uh, and it, it looks very fantastic. It looks out of this world, right? And I think it's done on purpose because it's portraying this realm of dreams, this other realm. And we don't know what laws this realm actually exists by right we know that arena net has set 
as a set of rules for Tyria, right? And they have done a really good job of abiding by those rules, which is close to how Earth works, right? There's a lot of, you know, we have a sun and we have a moon and we have, you know, the gravity is about the same and like those types of things, you know, it's very much the same how we have them on Earth. Yes, there's the elements of magic, which takes a lot of things in a lot of crazy directions. You know, we've seen a lot of things that magic can do in the world. Um, but it has a set of rules nonetheless that ArenaNet has done a pretty good job of abiding by. Now in Nios, we don't know what the rule set is. We don't know, you know, is the sun like a golden sun? Or is it, you know, it it looks like the landscape is painted in this more like pink, reddish color. So is that maybe what the sun looks like in that realm? Or is that the light source, whatever the light source is or whatever? Is that what it looks like? It's very fantastical and magic magical looking. And it reminds me of something uh, back in the day, um, you know, for those of you, like it's the first video game that I've ever completed, um, Zelda A Link to the Past, right? When you look at that, you have the light world, which is, you know, the regular overworld and it's all like, the grass is green and the water is blue and the sky is blue and like blah 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 whatever right but then you look at um the dark world which is this mirror world to what the light world is and the water becomes green and the grass is like brown and the trees have like these twisted faces on them and everything is just kind of like dark and dreary and even when you enter the dark world first you know, the first time you stand on the pyramid and you can see the sun like setting in the background and it's like perpetually twilight and it kind of sets this like dark and dreary setting for you. And I think that's kind of what we're looking. That's the same feeling that I kind of get when I look at this concept art. It looks like we're looking at the Temple of Febe in the background uh, with this darker setting, this more fantastical, magical setting, you know, this realm of dreams. What does the idea of the realm of dreams have to do with the setting? What does what does it mean to dream in this realm or whatever, right? We know that Paitha, when we defeat, when we kill Ceres, she says to him, you were not never supposed to dream or you're not allowed to dream or something like that. She talks about like dreaming, right? So there is a concept of dreaming that has something to do with the cryptas or the realm of Nios. And that's very interesting. Uh, then I also want to kind of talk about the structure itself. Like I said, it looks, the, the structures, this little city that we see in the background of this concept art, looks very much like what we see in the Maguma jungle what the white mantle have built right the white mantle have these dome-like structures with these rounded uh archways and those types of things right you can see it when you go through doing the raids and stuff when you go in season three we actually go to one of their outposts and stuff and you can see those dome-like structures everywhere and it's very much like White Mantle. I don't think we're going to see White Mantle, but I think that maybe the White Mantle built these based off of what the Mersat have shown them or told them or whatever it is, right? Because, and the reason I say that is because we know that Nios was originally the realm of the Mersat and they were exiled to Tyria. So it would stand to reason to think that these structures that we see in Nios were originally Mersat structures and the cryptus just took them over. We don't know if the Mersat themselves have any structures, we don't know if they have any architecture of their own, but it would make sense to think that they didn't really need to build anything because if they, you know, whether they originated in Nios or not, if they came from a different realm, but they definitely took over Nios and they exiled the Mursad and they could have just taken over those structures. So those structures might be actual Mursad structures, which would mean that maybe we're going to see a lot of Mursad influence. We haven't really seen any actual Mursad structures that were built specifically by the Mursad. Because the only time that we ever hear of actual structures built by the Mursad is in Saul's story, he ventured out into the woodland cascades and he found a city uh, made up of towers that were made up of alabaster and golden filigree and that reached into the heavens. And that doesn't really sound like what we're seeing here, but I think that there is something that not necessarily we could retcon, but something 
that I think that the city of the Mursad wasn't a city of the Mursad. This was a city that they took over from the Astral Ward because, again, when you when you read this text, the structures that in Saul's story were told, like, this is what it looked like, it sounds more like Omnitas, right? It looks like, it sounds more like Omnitas with the spires, with the golden filigree that reach into the heavens. That sounds a lot more like what Omnitas looks like rather than what we have seen the white mantle structures, for example, to be like. So I think that the, the city that Saul found in, you know, way early on in Guild Wars 1, wasn't a Mursat city, but it was a city that the Mursat had taken over from the Astral Ward. Because we know that they also were ta they also took over the Bastion of the Penitent. So it could be that they took over another uh, city that the Astral Ward at some point in time had, somewhere out in the Woodland Cascades that we have never seen. Uh, so I think that really what we're looking at is a piece of Nios. And that's kind of the theory that I wanted to go with. It's maybe reaching a little bit, uh, but you know, I wanted to start a discussion. I want to see what do you guys think? What do you guys think we're seeing in this picture, in this concept art? And what do you guys think Nios looks like? Do you guys think we're going to see a lot of Mursat influence? Are you, do you guys think we're going to see a lot of like Kaled, more like, you know, Elden Ring? For those of you that haven't played, there's an area in the Elden Ring game uh, that is that has kind of the same corruption that we've seen in the Temple of Febe that the cryptus have forced upon the landscape we kind of see the same thing in elden ring which is this like red uh area in the of the world like even the sky is all red and everything and it, it's very you could compare what we've seen in the temple of febe and other corruption by the cryptus to that right so are we going to see more of that or do you guys think we're going to see like a mixture of maybe this fantastical world like I've kind of described, kind of talked about with some Kaled like corruption, with Cryptus corruption all around it. Or what do you guys think Nios looks like? Um, and that's kind of all I wanted to talk about to you guys. So uh, let me know in the comments down below. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, I would really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, because I'm trying to do uh, trying to grow the channel i'm trying to do more stuff and also let me know uh, other things that you would like to see right uh, other subjects you guys want me to talk about and uh, yeah and i will see you guys in the next video all right bye guys